Yo, where the fuck is my ice cream at, dog? I just bought that shit last week. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me explain it. Now, I know I'm supposed to be dieting right now, but I just checked my weight. And I've gained like two fucking pounds since last week. And you think I'm about to continue dieting when I'm not seeing a return on my investment? Fuck that. I'm about to live my best life. I used to be so frustrated when I was on the grind for an entire week, missing not even a single workout, tracking my calories down to a single grain of rice, only to see that I'd gained weight at the end of the week. It was bullshit, like this is how I'm rewarded after putting in so much time and effort. I felt like I had just put in a 40 hour work week just for my employer to be like, oh sorry Nigel, uh, we lost your check and there's nothing we can do about it. Like, no, fuck that. I'm an extreme person. I tend to have an extreme mindset. And so if I'm not seeing results from what I'm doing right now, I'll be like, fuck it. I'll drop my calories by a thousand or fuck it. I'll stop eating altogether just to force my body to give me the results that I fucking want. But by being so extreme, not only would I lose a ton of muscle mass in the process, but I would also slow my metabolism way the fuck down. So that when I went back to eating a normal amount of food, I would actually start gaining weight. So how is it that I could better navigate this weight loss plateau and prevent myself from blowing up all my progress along the way? By weighing yourself every single day. You see, some people think it's a pain in the ass to have to get up and measure themselves on the scale every single day. But the thing is, it's actually normal for your weight to fluctuate between two or three pounds or so, depending upon the day. And so if you're not getting your weekly average, then you're not getting the true picture as to where your weight is actually falling. Because if you just weigh yourself once per week, it could say on the scale that you technically gained two pounds when in reality, you actually lost one pound. It's just that yesterday, you ate a whole bunch of salt and drank a whole bunch of water. And so now when you go to weigh yourself, you're storing a bunch of water weight when in reality, you actually lost more weight than it says. And so that is to say that the scale is only as accurate as you make it. And on top of this, most people go way too hard on their calorie deficits, when in reality, you actually wanna be eating as much food as possible. This way, not only is the diet far easier to stick to, but you also be far more likely to actually hit your goals since you're not starving all the time. But what if you do actually hit that dreaded plateau? Trust me when I say that when it comes to dieting, slow and steady wins the race every single time. You know, I started dieting when I was eight years old and now I'm 23. So I've been dieting for over 20 or uh, 15 years and I know what I'm talking about. I've been doing this, all right? So a plateau is just when your weight doesn't budge for two weeks or more. And if this is the case, what you want to do is simply increase your cardio. And once you've gotten to a point where you're walking at least 10,000 steps per day every single day and you hit another plateau, you just want to decrease your calories by another 300. And so you see on a bulking phase, what we do is once we stop gaining weight, we'll increase our calories and step by step, slowly, the process is basically increasing your calories but also increasing your reps and sets in the gym over time. But during a fat loss phase, we're just doing the opposite. Step by step, we're either decreasing our calories slowly and or we're increasing our cardio. But by following the philosophy of eating as much food as possible and mainly establishing that deficit through cardio, what we're doing is we're keeping our metabolism high all throughout rather than going on a crash diet and crashing our metabolism. All right guys, so I hope you liked that video. Let me know what other videos that you guys wanna see. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video. And as always, keep dreaming while you're awake. Peace. You ever wonder what it feels like when dreams bleed in the real life? Seen scenes from TV get realized. Palm trees, a soft breeze and chilled ice, till ties wash away our problems in the spill wine.